screaming. It came from the place of murder, rolling out of the green slime of the Mato Grosso, shrieking for revenge. It sought death for the man it hated, the screaming skull. The heart of the Mato Grosso, Brazil's mysterious and impenetrable jungle, as two men reached the goal they have sought for twenty years. Eames, we've found it! We've found it! I, it really does exist! Look, Vezin, the chest! It is here! Their hearts beating with excitement, they enter the decaying and forgotten temple. Open it, Eames! Perhaps it is not there! It is there! The dead have guarded it well! At last, the god of the green death! Vezin, it must be worth a king's ransom! Twenty years of searching and now it is actually in my hands. We must hurry back to camp before darkness comes, Vezin. Carrying the precious box, the two leave the temple and fight their way back to camp. Stop a moment, Eves. I must rest. All right, but we, we must hurry. A night in the swamp would be fatal. As they rest, Vezin stares at his partner. Already, the evil of the green god has permeated his soul. That idol should get us a quarter of a million apiece. It would get me a half a million if I had it alone. There, that's better. Ready, Vezin? Yes, Eames. Turn around. Vezin! What are you going to do? Kill you. I will share with no one. Goodbye, Eames. You've outlived your usefulness. You murderer! I'll come back and get you! I'll come back! Uh... Pfft. Gloating over his ill-gotten gains, Vezin hurries off, leaving the body of Eames to the mercy of the dread soldier ants. In moments, the corpse is covered by the vicious insects. In less than six minutes, only a gleaming skeleton is left of what once was Eames. Back at the camp, the murderous Vezin has already forgotten his partner. In the morning, I'll be flying on my way to the States. I'll live like a king. Half a million dollars. Stay close, my emerald friend. I wouldn't want to lose you now. As Vezin sleeps, a strange thing occurs outside the tent. From out of the jungle rolls a screaming skull with one tooth missing. Ah! Hide into Vezin's tent it rolls and onto his sleeping form, shrieking for revenge. Ah! <laughs> Vezin flashes his light to discover the, the skull, the missing tooth. It's Eames' skull, but how? How did he get here? No! In a frenzy, Vezin picks up the skull and hurls it into the darkness. You'll not haunt me. But within the hour, the skull returns. It, it's come back. It actually moves. What'll I do? In desperation, he picks up the frightful thing. All right, Eames, you wanted your share of the treasure? I'll give it to you. There, you can stay close to the green death until we get to the States. Now, let's see you get out of that. <laughs> yeah. Returning to America, Vezin settles down to the life of a rich man. It must have been perfectly thrilling, Mr. Vezin, fighting your way through those jungles. Not so much thrilling is hard, grueling work, my dear. Suddenly a hideous scream rings out through the house. Ah! How's that? Oh! It... It's some night bird. I'll... I'll have it hunted down in the morning. Shall we, Don? Ah! I'm sorry, Bezin, but I just remembered an appointment that I must keep. Uh, I'll go with you. The guests leave, and Bezin goes to the chest and its gruesome contents. So, Eames, you want revenge? You want to ruin me? Well, I'm going to destroy you, crush you into a million fragments. I... I can't move! What... what is this? Try as he will, Vezin cannot touch the chest. A powerful emanation from within repels him. Very well, Eames. Say in your chest and scream till you're hoarse. I have the money and you are dead. Soon, Vezin's house is shunned by all. 
until at last he is hard put to even find a housekeeper. And I will pay you $100 a week, is that alright? I should say so, for that kind of money I- <coughs> That! It, it's nothing, just the wind. That was no wind. It sounds like someone's getting murdered. I'm getting out of here. I'll do a lot of work for a hundred dollars, but I won't stay in a haunted house. Another one gone. Why can't I go with them? Why? It's that accursed Eames. Vezin tries to leave the house of horror, but he can't. You have me now, Eames, but I'll destroy you yet. <laughs> At last, Vezin manages to get a housekeeper who will stay in his house of mystery. Then, then you will stay? Yes. They say the house is possessed of the devil, but he don't scare me. <laughs> I couldn't stand being alone another moment. It would drive me mad. I loneliness can do strange things to a person. I know. One night, a week later. It's the haunt. Seems to come from that chest. Why, there's something alive in there. Maybe an animal or something. I'll let it out. Opening the chest brings a horrible surprise. Ah! Ah! Free from its prison, the screaming skull bumps its way up the stairs, through the hallway and into Vezin's bedroom. Inch by inch it climbs the bedspread by the means of its sharp, pointed, white teeth. And rolls across the bed to seize Vezin's throat in a grip of death. Ow, 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 ah. And so they found Vezin the next day, his throat horribly torn and mangled. Near him lay a grinning skull with one tooth missing. The frightful part is that the tooth marks on his throat show that one of the teeth were missing. Yes, missing in the same spot as the one that's missing from the skull. I'm afraid this is one mystery we'll never solve.